and Allen have been quiet in terms of points. Allen drives to the basket, tough shot, ball deflected, and Delonte West out hustles everybody. West tripped up and then throws it away. Good transition defense from Boston. Pierce, Allen for three. He just can't get it to go from downtown in this series. It's been a struggle for one of the game's all-time three-point shooters. Joe Smith would have a guy like that who could knock down shots come off the bench. Well, that's why he has to play going down the stretch because you have to keep the Celtic defenders honest, and Joe Smith is a big that can knock down shots. And a foul away from the ball against Cleveland. Now they're in the penalty. The winner of this is Gallus and Garnett. It'll start Tuesday. The Pistons are waiting. Cleveland wins. Game one is in Detroit. Boston wins. They're right back here. They're in the penalty. Garnett, I think he was going to the bench, but I believe he's shooting. Yeah, but those are the fouls. You've got to know time score penalty to foul on a meaningless cut and put a very good free throw shooter on the line. You're just giving points away. It's You've got to be more poised than that. From the line, Celtics 16 of 22. Cavaliers have shot 20 free throws so far today. Garnett. Again, he played in that game back in 2004 as the conference semifinals. He was with Minnesota, played against Sacramento. It was a game seven. He scored 32 points, had 21 rebounds, five blocks, four assists, actually four steals. A magnificent game. He's done a great job on the boards, but he has not had to do the scoring. Pierce is taking care of that. Give me Kevin Garnett any day of the week. You talk about his presence on both ends of the floor. He is an absolute winner and one of the all-time greats. Eight point Celtic lead. West. They whip. They call a foul on Rondo. That's four on Rondo. So free throws for Delonte West. You got to give West a lot of credit because when LeBron James is looking for someone else to become aggressive and look to make plays, West has been that guy. Turning the corner, getting the contact, going to the line, but he's taking pressure off of James. That was close, but it looked like they had been. That's one of those 51 49 calls. Or 52 48, however you break yeah, it down. Like, like 51, yeah. I mean, where did that come from? That's, where did you play ball? That's with the rep. That's how they say it, the officials. That's, I that's have, their phrase. I've talked to many officials in my time. Maybe none of them have referee CYO, Mike, like you did, but I have never heard one of them say that's a 51 49 goal. They say 50 50. <laughs> that's because most of your discussions with them start off with that was a horrible call. No, never. I was very civil. Only thrown out one time. Who threw you out? Joey Crawford. <laughs> How did you know he knew? <laughs> no question about it. Of course it. he knew. <laughs> Joey was not right in that either, I might add. My statistician Dave Free said it was in Miami. It was. Ray Allen for three. Again, can't get it to go. He's now four for 24 from downtown in the series. That was a great look. Those last two shots are shots that Ray Allen has to knock down. Wide open looks, uncontested, and he is a shooter. James hands it off. West for three. Hits it. Delante West from downtown. And it's a four-point game. Talk about the high IQ of LeBron James also. He sensed who's ready to play, who's ready to make shots. Makes a play for West. The former Celtic coming up big. He's the only other Cav in double figures. He's got 11. And we'll have timeout. Well, just another good play by James. Drawing attention. West doing a good job spacing the floor. Hitting the open three. It's a make or miss league. Here, good ball movement by the Celtics. Your best range three-point shooter. He just doesn't make right now. And he's in a mired in a very, very difficult stretch. So he'll sit. No timeout. Instead on the again in the penalty, Leon Poe will go to the line. Poe, the second year forward from Cal, the second round pick. 
And the way this game goes, physical, you expect teams to be in the penalty early in the fourth. When we say it, it might come down to who hits their free throws. But again, that was another foul away from the ball. No need for those type of fouls. Final minute, third quarter. Posey's back in the game on James. James to Verizhow. Stripped but foul. Pierce comes in, and that's going to be three on Pierce. And Verizhow will shoot two. And again, Cleveland's downsized on that possession with James at the four. Pose guarding Pavlovich on the perimeter. That's a very difficult matchup for Leon Poe. The Brazilian Andy Verizhow misses the free throw. NBA calendar. Another great game seven tomorrow night. Our friends at TNT will have it. Spurs and Hornets from New Orleans for the right to face the Lakers. Tuesday NBA draft lottery kicks off our coverage on ESPN at 8 Eastern. And then Eastern Conference Finals game one. Maybe here. Perhaps in Detroit. We'll find out as we approach the fourth quarter of game seven here in Boston. Five point lead for the Celtics. Pierce and a reach in foul. LeBron James not happy with the call. That's his third. And Pierce will shoot his ninth and tenth free throw of the game. Again, fouling away from the basket, away from the ball. This is at the three-point line. This is a no-brainer foul call right there. Those are fouls. You've got a no-time score and penalty. Plus, it's going to give Boston a two-for-one opportunity. Pierce, who has always been an excellent free throw shooter for his career, just under 80%, now with 34 points. The best playoff game he ever had scoring-wise was also in an elimination game. It was back in 2002, first round, game five, when the opening round was just best of five, scored 46 against Philadelphia in a blowout Celtic win. Celtics have led the entire game by as many as 13. But the Cavs keep fighting back. James nearly falls. James to the basket. Hammered by P.J. Brown. He is so strong, LeBron James. This just reminds me of when I'm in the backyard playing with my two youngest, Christian and Micah. The fouls, it doesn't matter. They think they really affected me, but I don't even feel it. This is getting it done. This is tremendous strength and athletic ability. Hear the way he got his kids' names in there? I like that. They are, they could be the two <laughs> cutest kids <laughs> to ever walk <laughs> the hallways of wherever we were. <laughs> I forgot. I, I just, I love those two kids. Here, here. Shot clock turned off as we wind down. The third quarter. Pierce has been brilliant today. Pierce pulls up. In and out. Smith the rebound. Final seconds. Smith short. And that will end the third quarter. Two NBA All-Stars putting on a show here this afternoon in game seven. 35 for Pierce. 32 for LeBron James. It's game seven from Boston. The winner advances and will play the Detroit Pistons Tuesday. The loser's season is done. Fourth quarter coming up. The ultimate one-on-one -on -one poker challenge is back. The most exclusive tournament of the year. 64 celebrities and poker pros playing for over a million dollars, and it could include you. Win an incredible seat to the National Heads Up Poker Championship completely free, exclusively at PokerStars.net, the world's largest poker site. ESPN, your NBA destination. Tomorrow, it's the next chapter in what's become one of the game's must-see rivalries. Oh! 
The top two teams in the East square off in Cleveland as KG, Paul Pierce, and the Celtics battle King James and the Cavs. Then the Mavs take on Shaq, Stoudemire, Nash, and the Suns. NBA Friday night doubleheader, Celtics Cavs and Mavericks Suns. Coverage begins tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern on ESPN. With the phone company, you can get voicemail. Hope you didn't leave yet. It's a left on Bank Street, not a right. With Vonage, you can get voicemail as email. Wherever you are. Vonage works by connecting your high-speed internet with your phone. Get Vonage and get visual voicemail. Also get unlimited calls, just $24.99 a month. Call 877-4-VONAGE and get your first month free. Hi, it's pretty easy to see what draws me to insurance. With my family, a job, and a pretty long commute, it's hard to find time to take care of things like auto insurance. Let alone how much it can cost. I chose eSurance because they save me money in no time. With Quote by Print Convenience, you can start saving in minutes. And with hassle-free automatic payments, that's one less bill that piles up. Get your fast free quote today. And get animated about your auto insurance with eSurance. Under five to play. Again, the Celtics have led the entire game by as many as 13 in the first half, by as many as 10 in the second half. James. Garnett on him. Shot clock down to five. James on the drive. Gets inside. Top shot. He knocks it down. And it's back to three. And I'm going to say this right now. I am in a double team and blitz LeBron James on every pick and roll. Anybody but LeBron James, I want shooting the ball right now. And there's a foul on James. That's his fourth. Pads not in the penalty, only the third team foul. You watch Pierce and LeBron this afternoon, and it's proof that great offense beats great defense any day of the week. Kevin Garnett couldn't have played this any better. Does a good job of staying in front, contesting, but LeBron with the floor. Pierce again calling for it. Good defense from James. Here's the double team on Wallace and a blocking foul on Ben Wallace. That's the fourth team foul. Celtics will inbound once again. It's James helping up the former defensive player of the year. And again, nobody with five. A host of players with four. Pierce looking for Garnett. Garnett tied up. Shot clock at five. P.J. Brown sets the screen. Pierce, short. Brown tips it back out. P.J. Brown making big plays here in the fourth quarter. Pierce spinning back out to Garnett. And Rondo will try and reset. Good defense from West. Pierce to Garnett again. Tough shot. It's good. Celtics by five. Smart play by Rondo. Pull it out as opposed to doing something that your team will pay the price. Gets Kevin Garnett on the block with a big time move. James has been dominant. Posey falls down. Now it's Ilgowskis. Ilgowskis off the dribble and a foul before the shot. Celtics not in the penalty. So the Cavs will inbound with 14 on the shot clock. If I'm Boston, I give strong consideration to hack a bin right now. And the Cavs will call timeout. Perhaps that'll be a topic discussed in the Boston huddle. I'm going to tell where it ends for me if I'm Doc Rivers. I'm either hacking a bin or I am going to double team LeBron James every single time he touches it, no matter the situation. West. James, Ogowskis, Wallace, and Pavlovich. James kicks it out. Pavlovich in the corner. This time they get out on him. West with six on the shot clock. West on the drive. And a foul. So Delonte West will go to the line for two. Garnett picks up his fourth. And I'm very impressed with Delonte West in this game. 
he is not afraid of having some of the offensive burden shift to him in crucial situations. Not afraid of the big moment. West, who played his college ball at St. Joe's, his first three years here with the Celtics. He loved playing for Boston. Was shocked when he heard he was traded to Seattle in the Ray Allen deal. And was very pleased when he went to Cleveland to get back on a playoff team. And he's got 14 points, five assists, and it's a four point game. Just a tough player. Ray Allen sitting here in the fourth in another rough day shooting, one for six. Two clutch free throws. Three point game with three minutes remaining. Rondo to Pierce. Wallace all over Garnett. Garnett backing in, back to Pierce. They look to double Garnett. Rondo flips it up, won't go. PJ Brown again. Right place, right time. And Rondo is hurt. Now he gets up. PJ Brown coming up huge here in the fourth. And then he mauls Ogaskis. And they got to be careful. That one very close as he dragged him down. Celtics caught napping in transition. Bad play, not getting back. But if you're a Rondo right now, you have to understand, you're not being defended. That time, West double KG on the block. You have to be ready to catch and make plays. P.J. Brown, good foul, not allowing Ilgowskis to get the three-point play. That should have been a flagrant. I'm just saying, if it's going to be refereed consistently, right. that's a flagrant foul. And I hate the idea of that rule coming in and having an impact at the end of the game. And yet, what you're ser searching for is consistency. Right. It's I mean, it's the rule. The rule doesn't state unless it's in the final minutes of an important playoff game. It it's should, the rule, though. right? It should. That should be in the rule. <laughs> Milkowskis hits two clutch free throws. And again, the ball's going to be in Rondo's hands because Delonte West is going to roam right now. In a series that has featured tough defense and some rough shooting, guys are making shots. James with the steal. Here he goes. And James makes it a one-point game with 2.20 to play. And this is the closest the Cavs have been since the opening minutes. They've never led and now trail by a point. A great moment, but Frank wasn't in the picture. He was in the men's room going again. Another moment, but Bob really needed to go. And when the guy snapped this one, Charlie was stuck in the men's room having trouble going. These male urinary symptoms could be due to BPH, also called an enlarged prostate. But for many guys, prescription Flomax reduces their urinary symptoms due to BPH in one week. Only your doctor can tell if you have BPH, not a more serious condition like prostate cancer. Avoid driving or hazardous tests for 12 hours after your first dose or increase in dose as a sudden drop in blood pressure may occur, rarely resulting in fainting. If considering cataract surgery, tell your eye surgeon you've taken Flomax. Common side effects are runny nose, dizziness, and decrease in semen. Get the picture? Take a moment to ask your doctor if Flomax is right for you and call 877-4-FLOMAX for a free one-week trial. For many men, Flomax can make a difference in one week. I had a mental image of who I was supposed to meet, the perfect guy. I just didn't know where he was. We first talked on the phone six and a half hours right into the early morning. We did that for some time, then we met. And we just saw each other and instant connection, snap. Joshua is a geeky chemist, but he is artistic, spontaneous. One night we tackled a big Giant six foot canvas. canvas together. She took half and I took the other half. It came out. It, it was it's amazing. amazing. Everything we do together is fun. Building a store together was a blast. We're dancing at 5 in the morning with drywall dust all over us and mud and splatter paint. There's this part of my life now that felt like she should have been there the whole time. And now it doesn't matter about the past. She's here now, so we're going to hit it full force. See how it feels to be matched based on compatibility. Log on and review your matches for free. eHarmony.com. Garnett turns, rolls around, doesn't go. James the rebound. Now, I don't agree with posting up Kevin Garnett. Great player, but keep the ball in the hands of Pierce and spread the floor with shooters. Pierce is back on James with Posey on the bench now. Shot clock down to seven. 
James to Pavlovich, into Wallace, back to James, a three, won't go, P.J. Brown the rebound. And the ball back at Pierce's hands. Celtics have led the entire game, trying to hang on and advance to the conference finals. Pierce, House, Brown the jump shot, puts it in, P.J. Brown the unlikely hero. And the Celtics go up by three with 121 remaining. What a performance from the veteran here in the fourth quarter. And the Cavs call timeout. P.J. Brown didn't start the season in the NBA, was out of the league, didn't sign till February, played only 18 games regular season. This is the most points he scored all season, but he picked a perfect time for the Boston Celtics. About Rondo back in the ball game along with Posey, defensive purposes. You need a stop. James, they get out of his hands. Delonte West, no good. Rebound, fought for, scrambled for, and they're going to call a jump ball. Good hustle from both teams as Ogowskis just dives on the floor on top of Posey. And this is good unselfish play. This is a set play from the timeout. Able to get Delonte West a wide open look. Not able to knock it down. Ogowskis with the height advantage here with exactly a minute remaining. Celtics clinging to a three point lead. Both teams are in the penalty. Both teams with multiple timeouts remaining. And watch Kevin Garnett overpower Pavlovich and try to steal this jump ball as Ogowskis goes up and most likely will win the tip. And he's looking right at LeBron James. <laughs> Posey trying to get a head start. Ogowskis on the second tip. Pierce comes up with it and calls timeout. He gets the timeout. Paul Pierce making every big play for the Celtics today. Well, I tell you what, we'll try some tough ball denial on Eddie House. Eddie a fresh point is looking for something. And Eddie House has to make sure if he's going to be asked to initiate the offense that he handles the ball. Delonte West, good ball pressure. House not a true point guard. What the discussion is here is whether or not on the timeout they can advance the ball. Which absolutely they can. Coming off a jump ball. Right. The ball was not passed. Caught. Possession, timeout, can't advance, and a good decision for they don't have to advance the ball up the court. And I think if you're Doc Rivers, you don't want Eddie House handling the basketball. Right away off the inbounds, gets it to Paul Pierce. Here's Sean Garnett to go away. James has played some great defense in this series. Just holding it, shot clock at eight. Pierce making his move. Finding Garnett. Garnett's jumper won't go. Rebound, LeBron James. Half minute to go. James looking on the drive. Gets inside. Tough shot. Misses and Garnett the rebound. Now they have to foul. Pierce ahead to Allen. They have to foul. And they're finally due with 18.8 seconds remaining. And one of the premier free throw shooters in the NBA will go to the line. I thought James had a pull-up three in transition right here to tie it and get a two for one. Now he's attacking. Ben Wallace is in the game. Not enough offense. He's forced to take an off-balance jump shot. I agree with you. Bad defense by the Celtics. Real lot. The only thing that could tie the game was a three. They actually allowed LeBron James to dribble to the line. Allen has been the best free throw shooter in the playoffs. He's now 31 for 32 in this year's postseason. And he gives them a four-point lead, two-possession game. Incredible numbers from the line. Two clutch free throws from Ray Allen. And the Celtics go up by five. Cavs call one of their final two timeouts. Well, Ray Allen, who has not been a factor today in much of this series, Comes off the bench and it's two huge free throws to give the Celtics a little cushion.
All right, now it's Cavs ball. They'll advance it on the timeout. Still 18.8 remaining. And with one timeout left, there's plenty of time for them to get some things accomplished. Jeff, what's the strategy, at least on this first possession for Cleveland? Well, you've got to score and score quickly. I would preferably like to have a three-point attempt so I can then try to steal the inbounds pass, if not foul, and then they have to make one of two versus if you take the quick two, one of two still leaves you in a two-possession game. Mark, obviously LeBron James is going to have the ball in his hands, but he's going to see a wave of defenders at him, right? Well, I don't think you put a wave of defenders. You ask that primary defender to keep him in front of him and contest. Don't allow him to lift, but you do not want to leave the three-point shooters of the Cavs. So force LeBron to make a play individually with help. Damon Jones, a three-point shooter, inserted back in. Pavlovich can shoot from three. West and of course LeBron James and Joe Smith, the fifth player for Cleveland. Really, the only guy that is in position to help is the guy defending Joe Smith. Not a three-point shooter. Everybody else should stay at home. West to inbound. James, he'll drive. James gets inside. He's fouled. Shot won't go. That would have been a continuation, and he'll go to the line. And only about two and a half seconds goes off the clock. Now this almost seems like an intentional foul here by Paul Pierce, not allowing LeBron to get to the cup, forcing him to go to the line. Well, that was dangerous. Again, with his strength and ability to get a shot off even after getting fouled. And he misses a free throw. Every free throw so huge right now. And that could be such a costly miss for the Cavs. Oh, outstanding job by Doc Rivers inserting guys in and out offensively and defensively down the stretch in this fourth quarter. Conley puts that one in. Four point game. Cavs will try and steal and then they'll foul. And they do so on Eddie House. And I've always disagreed with allowing the ball in so easily and then just fouling immediately. I think you need to try to down four, trap, and force a turnover before you just put guys to the line. This is Eddie House's first free throw attempts of the playoffs. During the regular season, he was tremendous. 92% doesn't get there often. But he hasn't taken a free throw since the regular season.